Hi, Tom Murray here with our new Peaches Record Crates. Uh, we have them for sale pre-assembled for 45 RPM records. And we have Peaches LP Crates. These are an extra large size. They hold, it says, holds over 120 records. They're 24 inches long, so it's entirely plausible. This one's got a lot of box sets in it, so obviously it doesn't have nearly as many. But uh, I'm going to show you how easy it is to assemble these. It will arrive to you in a box like this, unassembled. So we'll just open it up. Like so. All the slats right here and the two end pieces. Like so. And a little assembly sheet and some nails. First step on the assembly sheet says to pre-drill holes in all the slats. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to nail it straight together. So you get a rough idea. Uh, I assembled this one that way and didn't have any problems. But if you want to pre-drill the holes to avoid any chances of it splitting, uh, feel free to do so. So let's get some nails ready here. So we'll start with our two end pieces. We want the peaches labels to be facing out. And you need to decide if you want it to be a top loader like this one, you want it to be facing this way, and if it's a side loader so you can stack them up with the spines facing out, then you'd want to turn it like this. And this would be the bottom, because we're going to start putting the slats on the bottom. I'm going to do it as a top loader, so I've got this upside down. And as I said, the directions say to pre-drill two holes. Uh, when I assembled the other one, I didn't do it that way, and it came out fine. So I'm going to do it again. Just line up the corner, nice and even, just like that. Make sure it's even. Just like that. We do the same thing over here. Make sure the edges are squared up. Splitting, easy as pie. Do the other corner the same way, and once you get the first slide in, it gets a lot easier. split a little bit. 
but it should be fine. One more and the bottom's done. There we go. So that's where we're at. The next thing to do would be to do the exact same thing with the sides. Here, two nails, two nails, two nails, and then do the same thing on the other side. And I'm going to finish nailing this together and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got all the slats nailed in place. This is the finished crate. You can see it's got a real rough, rustic, nostalgic type view to it, look to it. Um, the wood is a little rough, but that kind of lends to the rustic look of it, I think. Um, I wouldn't use these crates for filling up and then carrying around to various places. If, if you need something like that, our ultimate LP storage crate might be a better choice, or even the cardboard boxes. But these are real nice, and you can stack them up this way if you want. Or just have them like this so you can flip through them as that one is. And uh, that's all there is to it. Thanks.